Well, hello everyone and happy Saturday. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live on Facebook on Saturday night, November 13th, I think. Almost Thanksgiving. I can't believe Thanksgiving is like less than two weeks away. Well, I think it's about, a, yeah, almost exactly two weeks. Um, no, it is less because Thanksgiving is on Thursday, so it is less than two weeks. I can't believe it. And then Christmas is right around the corner. Where is the time going? I just don't get it. It's going by so fast. This year is like, boom, over with. And I feel like I haven't done anything. <laughs> Except stay home and stamp and go to work. <laughs> so this is the card we're making tonight. Actually, we're making 10 of these cards tonight. So we're doing another 10 for, well, 10 cards in 20 or 30 minutes. I put 30 minutes because I'm not going to stress myself out trying to rush so much as I did last time. So I'm going to say 30 minutes probably. So hopefully you guys are in your pajamas and you're ready for date night with Lisa. I'm in my pajamas and that's why I'm not showing you myself right now because it was a beautiful day here in Chesapeake, Virginia. We had just absolutely gorgeous weather and probably getting close to the last of these beautiful days because it's been like 70, 75 degrees almost every single day and sunny. And uh, so I was inside today stamping and watching our on stage, which is like Stampin' Up's convention, but it, because of COVID, it's um, virtual. My paper is crooked. I don't know why it's like that. But um, anyway, I was watching that and I'm looking outside and it's so beautiful outside. I'm like, I'm just going to go outside and watch this. So I live on the water and I took my yoga mat and my towel out there and just um, lay down on my dock on my stomach and just sat there and watched my um, phone and watched my on stage convention thing and uh, it was so beautiful out. I just didn't want to come inside, but I did. But it was really good. Our on stage thing is really good. So if you were a demonstrator and you were watching that today, it was awesome. We saw lots of new products that are coming out in the new um, spring mini catalog. And we also saw some celebration things and um, lots of new things. And we got some door prizes. So it was a great day for that. So. Um, we are going to turn the camera down and I'm going to, well, actually, <laughs> the camera's already down. <laughs> no, I haven't been drinking either. <laughs> Let me look at the comments. <laughs> I feel like when I'm at work and I say the same thing over and over and over, I get used to saying the same thing in the videos. And, um, at work, I'm always like, you know, when people are checking in, I'm like, okay, they'll be out to get you in a few minutes. And then sometimes people are checking out, but most of the time they don't have to check out. They just kind of, they swipe their card so they don't have to leave, um, stop and check out. And if they do, then I'm so used to saying, okay, they'll be out to get you in a minute. And I say that to people when they're leaving. And I'm like, no, wait a minute. They're not coming to get you. You can just go. <laughs> so anyway, let me say hello to everybody. So we have lots of people. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Tina. Lois, Sylvia, Deborah, Marsha, Talara. Hey, you guys. How are you guys all doing? And Talara says, hi, Lisa. Thanks for being my date again on Saturday night. I have to thank you guys for being my date on Saturday night because I don't have anywhere to go. So let me see. We've got oh, another Susan, Denise. Let me see. Sylvia says, yay, I caught you live. Hey, Madonna. How are you guys all doing? Did you guys have beautiful weather today, too? It was just so nice out there. Really nice breeze blowing and oh, I could have laid out there all day long. I do have a couple winners from, I'm really backed up on these. I've got a whole pile of cards sitting here that I need to give away. So I'm going to have to start doing like two or three per video to catch up. So for this one, these were the quilt cards. So this was the one with the squares. The winner for that one is Beverly Hockstetler. Hopefully I said that right. And um, Gloria Stiller, you won the one that was the straight pieces. So congratulations, girls, for winning those. Just make sure you send me your address. I'll put them in the mail to you. And my address is on the YouTube site. If you just click on the description box, my address is in there. I mean, my email is in there. So you can just email me and uh, send me your address. And also, a lot of people um, emailed me about the um, sticky post-its that I used in the last video for the um, Boca technique. If you want to get those, I did put a link in my description box under the video and it's under every video because I've used those quite a bit. So I have my favorite things are always in the description box. So if you click on the description box underneath the video on YouTube, it says my favorite things on Amazon and it's got those sticky notes on there. So you can get them right there 
at Amazon because that's where I buy pretty much everything that I don't buy from Stampin' Up. All right, so let me show you what you need for these cards that we're going to do. And you need 10 of everything, so we have a lot of cutting I did today. And we did this card in my classes um, last week. So everybody who came to class last week got to make this card. So what you need is five and a half by eight and a half smoky slate, 10 of those. And then 10, I have this huge pile here, 10 white pieces. These are five and a quarter by four. 10 of the um, peaceful place paper. This is five and a quarter by four also. The white is for the inside of the card. And then we've got 10 of these, four and a quarter by two and three quarters, smoky slate. And 10, maybe that'll fit up there, hopefully. 10 of these pieces, also from Peaceful Place, um, four by two and a half. And then we've got 10 of these. These go with the inside of the card. Here's the inside. And we're gonna do that. So that's just the white, these two pieces together. So 10 of those. Then we've got 10 bows that have already tied. So I did cheat a little bit with the bows. And then 10 smoky slate pieces. These are, I'm out of room here. These are one and an eighth by one and an eighth. Oops, one got away. And then 10 of the white squares. And these are one by one. So that's everything. So hopefully you can get all of that into your screenshot for this card. And that's all you need. We're only stamping one thing on this card. It's really easy. It's one thing that's stamped, and that's the words. Everything else is sponging and gluing together. So it's really a fast card. So let me check the comments one more time before I start, because once I start, it's hard to read. Laura says, wow, finally caught you live. I was goofing around at my craft table, and Facebook notified me that you were on. Yay! So you get to watch. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Angel. Hey, Eileen. Facebook's working for you. Good. Um, Diane, I thought that card looked familiar. <laughs> Diane was in class. Carla says, I just recently joined your YouTube channel and must happen to catch you live. Actually, this is on Facebook, so we're not on YouTube yet. Um, hey, Deborah, you've come a long way with these videos. Great job. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Even though I forget stuff and say things <laughs> wrong. But the good thing is, when we were watching the, um, on stage today, one of the people who works at Stampin' Up, her name is Shannon West, she was doing a little presentation and, and she was talking about doing videos. You know, a lot of people are scared to do videos and I really was scared for a long time and I still get nervous when I do them. Right before I hit that live button, I have to sit here and like take some deep breaths because I get really nervous when I, right when I start. And, um, you know, I'm always worried I'm just gonna like fumble around and do things wrong and, you know, say the wrong things and, so anyway, she was telling people, you know, don't worry when you do videos, you don't have to be perfect, you know, because a lot of people who do all the editing, they've been doing them for years and I didn't know how to edit. So I was always worried about that, that I couldn't do a video if I didn't know how to edit. So you get what you get with me. There's no editing. And she also said, and you don't have to remember the names of all the products that we <laughs> you use. And I said, boy, she must have been watching my videos because that's my issue. <laughs> I always forget the names of everything. And I don't know why I don't have them all written down, but I just forget about it until I start doing it. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't bring that. So really the only thing you need for this one is the Peaceful Place paper. And then the ribbon, this is the white crinkle seam binding and the linen thread. And then this cardstock. And the only word we're using is Peace, Joy, Love. And this is from Inspiring Thoughts. So this is a perfect little stamp for this card. And I love this Peaceful Place um, paper. So, oh, thank you, Lynn. So um, I had I have this paper and I have a lot of it, like maybe five packs left, but I had used a lot of the same sheets when I did my framed art and different things. But I had a ton of this piece right here, the um, this one right here, this, the trees. I hadn't used this piece at all. So I had all this paper and I'm like, what am I gonna do with all these pieces? So that's why I decided to do this card. And I hadn't really used this one either. So um, I figured I could get rid of all that paper and do a, a 10 for. 10 cards in 30 minutes. We'll say 30. We're getting ready to start, so we're gonna start the timer in one second. Let me get my stamp pad open. All right, so we are starting, let me see. It is 7.09 and a half. <laughs> what to say 7.10? Let me take all these stickers off too. 
So we're going to start at 710 and see if I can finish by 740. But this is a pretty easy card, so hopefully we should be able to. I'm going to move these out of the way. We don't have to stamp on all this stuff. The only thing that's getting stamped is this little white piece. Let me move these ribbons over too. All right, so ready, set, go. <laughs> so we're just going to stamp these words real quick. And hopefully I'll get them all straight so I don't have to do do-overs. Um, it's always hard to see when it's not like right under you, when you got to kind of look from the side. So hopefully you can still see it if I pull it down towards me. So far we're doing pretty good. And I saved some funny stories. Now, uh-oh, that one I messed up. Let's flip it, flip it over. I wrote down some funny stories because I always forget what I'm going to say when I start doing a video. So today I wrote down some stories to tell you. So one was about um, Shannon because I thought that was really funny when she said that because I'm like, man, she's she must have been watching my videos because she knows I always forget everything. But another story that I had was yesterday. I've got this class coming up this week and we're doing five last minute Christmas gift ideas. So yesterday I spent the whole day in my stamp room, um, except for going, I had to go um, to work for just a little bit because my supervisor's last day was yesterday and we had planned to go on a way party and I was off. So I organized it. So I had to go pick up the cake and go decorate and all that stuff. So I did that in the morning and she loved it. And um, then when I got home, I had started doing all my stamping. So I'm in there, I've got my music playing on, you know, the like Christian songs and I'm singing and all of a sudden I just hear this like, and then it just kind of rumbles, it's like this rumbling up and down the street, up and down the street, and then like a uh, screeching of brakes and, and I'm like, what is going on out there? And I look outside and there's this little kid that lives down the street and I live kind of at the end of a court. I'm about three houses from the end. And this kid lives at the very end. And for some reason, you know, he's like starting at his house and then going down to my house, slamming on the brakes. Oh, that's why I messed up. And doing spin outs in front of my house and then turning around and going back doing the same thing. And I'm not kidding. This kid did it for like five hours straight. And... <laughs> And I, my stamp room is like in the front of the house, right by the driveway. And I was just like getting so irritated. And I'm like, oh my God, is that battery ever going to die? Because he has like, it's a pickup truck, four wheeler pickup truck. And he's seven years old. I think the max age for those things is probably like, I don't know, five. Because he's way, 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 way too big for it. And um, so he can barely fit in it. I'm sure I put that weight under the screen so you couldn't see it. Um, but the other thing was, yesterday was Friday, and I'm like, okay, I know there's school today, so why is this kid not in school? But don't you just love it when you're you're just like so peaceful in your zone and you're creating, and then you got to listen to something like that all day? <laughs> I was just like, the parents probably said, go outside and play, get out of here. I was like, oh drove me crazy and then this morning I stayed up late last night making stuff and I said oh I'm gonna sleep in in the morning and about eight o'clock my neighbor starts pressure washing his house and you know how loud that is and this is my neighbor across the street that never does anything they, he doesn't even mow his grass but like once a month and I'm thinking of all days he picks Saturday morning and he was out there almost the whole entire day pressure washing but I think his wife Gave him a honeydew list because every single weekend he's been out there doing stuff lately. And they're trying to fix up their house. I don't know if they're thinking about moving or if they just finally decided they wanted to make it look better. Because my house looks so good across the street. And they said, uh, we better start making our house look better. <laughs> I have noticed though, since I moved into my house last year, when I first moved in, like hardly anybody really put a lot of um, pride into their house, you know, and made it like look really good. A lot of the houses were just kind of like, um, you know, they just didn't do anything. They kind of let things go. But it's so funny since I moved in, 
I, almost all my neighbors except for one have really started fixing their houses up. So that's a good thing. So maybe I'm wearing off on them a little bit and shaming them into doing stuff because because I spend a lot of time working on my yard and my house. So, all right, so that takes care of the words. So we're done with those. Uh-oh, you know what I forgot? To sponge them. So let's do that real quick. So I should have sponged them before I glued them down, but that's okay. So the next thing we're going to do is all the sponging. So we've got to sponge all these trees and then all these little pieces. So I just got to be really careful because I don't want to get it on the gray. Oh, oh, uh-oh. I'm using the gray instead of the blue. Okay, we goofed up. Let's close that. Actually, we can't close it because I'm going to have to do another one. Well, we'll just use that one put some blue on it. Nobody will notice. Let me put that pad away. All right, so we're using blue. Let me get some blue on here. Get all that gray off. All right, so this one's not gonna be as pretty as the other one, but that's okay. We'll try and cover up that gray. All right, so all of these are gonna get some blue. If you're doing this, make sure you do it before you glue it down. See, I just can't walk and chew gum at the same time or stamp and talk at the same time. <laughs> I lose my concentration, but I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch me just silently stamping because that would be boring. So I'm trying to keep you entertained. <laughs> and I can't read comments because I'm on a timer. <laughs> I'm going to get blue ink on my fingers from doing it like this. So that was my funny story. And then I have another one. Hold on. Let me think of what it was. I have it on my, my little piece of paper over here, but I can't move right now because I'm stamping or sponging. All right, almost done. There we go. All right, so now those pieces are done. And now we're going to move on to the trees. And we're going to sponge these pieces right here with the blue. And this is Misty Moonlight. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that one. Let me see, here's my little notes. Okay, I did that one. Oh, okay, I told almost all my stories now. <laughs> I have nothing, nothing. Oh, do any of you guys watch, um, what's it called? Uh, Station 19. It comes on like right before Grey's Anatomy. It's like a spinoff of Grey's Anatomy. It's a really, really, really good show. I like it better than Grey's Anatomy. But it's got, um, if you watch Grey's Anatomy, it's got Bailey's husband in it who, I can't remember what his real name is, but he's from Virginia Beach, which is right around here, and went to high school, uh, to my rival high school, because I graduated from Cox High School, and he went to First Colonial, which was right around the corner from my house. So he's from here. I think his name is George something, but I can't remember. But anyway, I was watching that um, last night. And it was so good. It's like the best show because they're all firemen. And uh, one of my favorite characters died on last night's, the one I watched last night. It was actually on, I always watch everything later and tape it all. That's really the only reason I keep my cable so I can DVR everything to watch it. So, oh, let me look at comments really quick. Hold on. Okay, let me see. All right, what have we got? Okay, Angie says, hey everybody, Audrey's watching. Lynn says, darn five o'clock here. Five o'clock? Oh, you must be like in, that's central time, I think. You'll have to watch, oh, time to get dinner. Angie says, a lot of schools had Thursday and Friday off because of Veterans Day. Well, here, I think they did have Thursday off, but Friday, I know there was school because I got stuck in the, um, the school speeding zone, you know, like when they have the flashing lights. So I know there was school yesterday. I'm looking at the screen and my hands looks like I'm the bionic woman doing this. I know I said that one time before. And, oh, I watched, have any of you all ever heard of Lisa Nichols? She's a motivational speaker and she's very, very popular. She's like got like 80 million followers or something, I think, on Facebook or something, or maybe 8 million, I don't know. But anyway, she was the guest speaker at our Stampin' Up! Leadership 
convention, which was a few months ago. Well, they're getting ready to delete it because you can watch the replay for like a couple months after it's over. And that ends on the 15th. And I hadn't watched all of it yet. So hers was one of the ones I missed. And so I was like, oh, I got to watch that before it is taken down. And like the one that we have going now, that'll be on there till January. So they leave it for like two months for you to watch it all. And I've just been so busy. I hadn't, I'd forgot about it. So I really wanted to catch all the guest speakers because they're all really good. So anyway, she's this motivational speaker and she's so good. I already had, you know, followed her before she was the guest speaker at Stampin' Up. But she's this lady and she, she grew up, um, well, I don't know. She grew up kind of poor, I guess, and. And she was having like really hard times and didn't have any money. And, um, you know, she just kind of brought herself out of that. And she had a little baby. And, you know, now she's, you know, a multimillionaire because she discovered that she could be whatever she wanted to be. And um, her speech was about finding your light. And finding what it is about you that that makes people shine and, you know, what can you contribute to other people to make them shine. And she was talking about when she was in, I think it was high school, she was trying out for a play. And, or not a, yeah, I think it was a play because it was the Bionic Woman and Charlie's Angels. It was something with like superheroes or something. And she was trying out for Charlie's Angels and the Bionic Woman for both all the parts, you know, and she was being bussed into like a, um, all white school. So she was one of the only black people there. And so she tried out for the parts and, and the judges were like, Oh, you were so good. You were so good. But then she didn't get the part and she was devastated. But then many, many years later, um, she was doing one of her most motivational speeches at some big place, you know, cause she has like thousands of people that follow her. And, um, what's her name? Who is the Bionic Woman? Lindsay Wagner. So Lindsay Wagner was at that motivational speech and she came up to her afterwards and she said, you were fantastic. She said, you were so amazing and so awesome. And so she was like so nervous and, you know, just overcome because Lindsay Wagner had been one of her like, you know, superheroes when she was younger and she always wanted to be like her. And she starts, like, babbling about her play that she was trying to be in and be the bionic woman. And she said, and I was so good, and I jumped over the chair, and da, 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 da. She was talking so fast, and um, Lindsay Wagner said, put her hand on her shoulder, and she said, honey, you need to stop thinking about the past and just think about the future. She said, you are the bionic woman. She said, you are so amazing in what you do. And she said, you need to stop thinking about what happened back then. And just think about what you do now and how you affect other people. And so anyway, her whole speech was about being the light and shining bright and, you know, being inspirational to other people. And when you're inspirational to other people, then you will succeed and you will help other people succeed. So it was a great speech and I really liked it. So I watched it twice. And I was trying to tape it because I didn't want to lose it because I thought that's something I could just watch over and over and over again. But somebody showed me there's a button on the iPhone that you can record your screen and I tried to do that and it wouldn't work. So I tried it like three times and it just wouldn't work. So I guess I will lose it, but I hate that. I wish they would just leave it up so we could watch it forever because it was really, really good. But if any of you guys have never heard of her, check her out on YouTube. Um, or Facebook, and she's really, really amazing to listen to, and her story is really amazing, too. All right, so I'm going to start gluing together, because now we've already done, whoops, the stamping, and I just got glue on this. Hold on. We'll flip it over. Put it on this side. All right, so you want to put these right up close to the edge, but not on the edge. All of a sudden, I just got like a hot flash. I'm in my really warm pajamas and all of a sudden it's getting really warm in here. <laughs> but I can't get up and turn the fan on. All right, so we're just gonna glue all these down. But I thought that was so good. I love listening to people who 
just talk about things like that. And, you know, instead, I mean, cause we had like three made motivational speakers and they were all wonderful, but you know, the other ones talked about like increasing your business and things like that. And this one, she really didn't talk about anything that had to do with our businesses really, but, um, it was so inspiring because, you know, she basically said by being yourself and being, you know, happy and, um, letting your light shine, then things will just automatically come to you because people will be drawn to you and your light. And so I hope that's what happens when you watch my videos, that my light shines through and you guys really like watching them. And I'm a little entertaining too because I'm always messing up. So you get a good laugh out of almost every video because you are pretty much guaranteed to get a blooper in every single one because I don't think I've ever done a video all the way through and not messed up. So you know how when you watch a movie in the movie theater and if you like stay till the very end when they start doing the captions, you get to see all the bloopers from the movie. And that's really sometimes the best part of the movie is the, the takeouts when they goof up. And I thought, man, I should just do, if I knew how to edit stuff and I could just go through and do all my funny moments from my videos in the past, that would be a good video. Cause I'm sure I have a ton. Cause you guys always tell me that I'm just so funny <laughs> and you love my laugh. So I've, I've always been told that I have a really good laugh and that it just kind of makes other people laugh. There's another girl at work who's the same way. She, when she starts laughing, I just start laughing because her laugh, it's kind of like mine, but not because hers is more of like a cackling. Um, hers is more like, she's from New Jersey and she's got a very, very strong uh, New York, it's either New York or New Jersey, one of those um, accents. And, uh, She's always just got this loud, loud laugh that you can hear through the whole entire building. And when she starts doing that, I just start dying laughing. And then all of us are laughing because the two of us laughing is, is hysterical. All right, so we almost got the inside done. What am my time looking like? 727. So, dang, I've already been doing this for 17 minutes. It doesn't seem like that. It goes by so fast. So my stamp camp that's coming up this week, I've got, we're doing five projects and they're all last minute Christmas gift ideas. So I've only done three of them so far. We're doing, I have to come up with two more, but so far I've got a box with cards in it and it's a box that's in the holiday mini. That's really, really cute that I had totally forgotten. I bought and, um, I found them and I was like, oh, these would make great boxes and then cards fit in them. So I was like, that's even better. So I decorated the top and then I just um, made some cards to go inside. So it is beautiful and I can't wait to do a video on that for you guys. And then I also have made, make sure that's not upside down. Um, what was the other thing I did? Oh, I did a box and um, it's a box that I just made and it's really cute and it's decorated um, with a snowman. And then I've got um, the other day Bath and Body Works had a sale on hand sanitizers and they were like dirt cheap. They were all like two or three dollars. I think the ones I bought little ones and they were only like 80 cents, the little teeny ones. And then I bought the bigger ones and they were like... Um, I want to say two dollars and something, two fifty maybe, and then I also had a twenty percent off coupon. So I really like made out. So I bought like twenty five of these ones that were frostberry, and they have a snowman on the front. So they're like white with snowman on the front. So I'm using the Snow Wonder snowman, and I decorated the box with him, and then I put the sanitizer in the box so everybody gets that sanitizer when they come to class. And then I'm also doing a notebook that's going to be like a um, vintage, uh, what do you call those, 
vintage journals, you know, kind of looking like that. And then I've got a cocoa packet, cocoa with candy cane, using the, um, uh, what are they called? The bags that, ombre, the ombre bags that we have. I haven't made it yet, but I kind of have an idea in my head what I'm going to do with that. So that's another one. And then the last project, I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. But I have to come up with something tomorrow because i got to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So whatever I do, i got to do tomorrow and then cut all the supplies for it. So if you're watching and you're local and you want to come and you haven't signed up yet, I still have room on the 18th, I think. I think the 19th is full, but the 18th, there's still room at 10 and 7. And also, I can't remember if I already talked about this or not. I'm going to start a stamp club um, online. So if you can't, if you're not local and you want to get in on my classes, um, you can join a stamp club. So I'm going to have groups of like six people each. And all you have to do is order $50 or more each month. And you'll have a specific host code. And then you'll get picked... Um, out of those six months, everybody will be picked to be the hostess. So you'll be assigned a certain month. And when it's your month, you can get friends or anybody else to add to the order. But you're guaranteed $300 for your party. And you get all the hostess benefits. So those of you that already ordered like $50 a month from me, which there's quite a few of you guys, you should sign up for that because then you will automatically get to be a hostess one month. And you'll get all the free stuff. So it's a great deal. So I'll have more details about that coming soon because I want to start it. I don't know. It's going to start the 1st of December. But I'm thinking I should probably just go ahead and whoops, wait till January because I know December is going to be a crazy month. But I don't know. We'll have to see if I can get my act together in the next week or two to get everything written up. Um, so everybody can sign up for that. All right. I don't know if we're going to finish this in time. I'm getting close, though. I'm sorry I haven't checked the comments. I'm trying to hurry. I thought for sure I'd be able to do this one in 30 minutes. Because it's an easy card. It's just like one thing to stamp and then, then just put it together. But I think I do all these little things, you know, like the... Um, We've got bling on here, and we were we we're gonna have some Wink of Stella and all that stuff. So it's gonna take extra time, and this is a lot of pieces to glue together too. Whoops! Let me see. Went the wrong way. All right. Anybody saying anything good? I have to look real quick. Hold on. Sharon says you are awesome. Marcia says you light up Facebook. Oh. Wanda says, so entertaining. Sylvia says, I love your videos. Always upbeat and lifts my spirits. And Diane says, laughter is contagious. And your videos and even your classes are entertaining. And Angie says, you and your videos are awesome. Go ahead, add, turn the fan on. Oh, go ahead and turn the fan on. <laughs> I can't turn the fan on, then I'll lose some time. <laughs> it's a... All the talk about Fireman Lisa, that's why you're flashy. I know it. I know. Plus, they're all really cute on that show. But I was crying because my one of my favorite characters died. It was so sad. And the girl that he, like, is in love with, he saved her. And then right after he saved her, he died. And so she's in the hospital. And that's it kind of carried over into, it was like a carry, you know how they do that? They uh, carry it over into the Grey's Anatomy because, um... The fireman is married to Bailey, so um, she thought he died because he wasn't answering his phone, but really it was the other guy. So when he showed up in the ambulance, she was all happy to see him, but the other guy was didn't make it. So it was sad. But yes, it seems like, I don't know what it is with firemen. They're like all cute. I hardly ever see an ugly fireman. Like UPS drivers. I don't know. UPS drivers seem to be all cute, too. There's hardly ever an ugly one of them, either. I love the UPS guys. The, I used to have the most awesome UPS guy. He was the same guy every day. 
and I knew his name. He gave me his cell phone number. Like if I was waiting for something, he would bring it to me like early. And um, uh oh, that one stuck together. Okay, I was like, I only have one left, and there's two. All right, we are really not gonna finish in five minutes. So <laughs> this is gonna be ten cards in forty minutes today, probably. We're almost done though. We just gotta put the front piece on and then the ribbon and then the pearls and then the Wink of Stella. <laughs> this is such an easy card though. All right, so those pieces are done. Then we're gonna put these two together. So let me get all my glue on here for this. Let's see if I can do a couple at a time. I'll do one, two. You have to do these cards like assembly line style and do all the same step at once. All right. Now I've run out of stuff to talk about because I've been talking a mile a minute the whole time. Don't worry if these are upside down. I can turn them back around. Just like that. <laughs> Magic. Okay. Wow. I really thought I would get this card done in 30 minutes, but I guess not. It'll be more like 35, maybe. But, ah! I need an assistant to help me glue all these down <laughs> and put dimensionals on the back of everything. So we're gonna have dimensionals on the back of this and the words. I'm trying to make all my projects for class pretty easy, but it's not happening. I don't know why, I used to have like the most simple projects when I whoops when I first started stamping I was like super simple stamper but I still think most of my cards are very easy they're just you know sometimes a several steps but they're not hard like this is really not a hard card it just has a lot of gluing we're almost done gluing and then we're gonna put some dimensionals and Ling it up. I didn't even show you all the sparkle that's on here because it's got a lot of Wink of Stella. Anybody do anything fun this weekend? I can look for a second. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me scroll this. The, I'm glad you don't sacrifice your extra touches to stay within your time limit. Oh, thanks, Audrey. Oops, almost glued the wrong side. There's a UPS guy that comes to my work that has a twin. Does he live in Virginia? Is he cute? <laughs> if any of you guys know any good looking single guys that live in this area, let me know. All right, so now we're gonna glue these two, I mean these 10 with, put dimensionals on the back and then stick them down. Let's stick them all out here. Whew, now I'm really getting hot. I don't know why either because my house is set on 65 so it's really like not warm in my house at all it was warmer outside today than it was in my house so but I do have on my winter pajamas which are so furry can you see them it's like um, I don't know what you call that material it's like velvet it's so soft they are the most comfortable pajamas ever. And I got them on QVC last year. But, oh, those two stuck together. Ah. I'm racing, racing, racing. Maybe we'll start doing five cards in 20 minutes. <laughs> Instead of 10. But you know what? I've been giving away all my Christmas cards that I'm making, like on the videos and in class. I give them away when people order, because if you order $50 or more, you get four cards in the, in the mail. So I've been giving away like all my cards. So I don't have hardly any Christmas cards to give out. So I've been trying to make some easy ones. Okay, good, we got all that done. So, well, a lot of you guys will probably get this card in the mail. Uh, oh, let me put the lid on this. Where is the lid? Oh, here it is. 
So if you guys have ordered lately, you should have gotten some cards in the mail from me. And a lot of them were the ones that I've been doing in the videos and stuff. So hopefully you liked them all. I always worry that they're going to get lost in the mail because um, some of you guys, when you get them, you do send me an email and uh, say, I got your cards, thank you. But then a lot of people don't, so I never know if they get them or not. I guess I should probably send an email out and make sure everybody does. Because a lot of times I send them all, I try to do them all like on Sundays, like every Sunday. And, um, oops. So most people should get them within two or three days, I would think. Although, I don't know, some days my mailman doesn't even come. Because I'll go out there and put mail out there. Because I put mail in my mailbox almost every day. And, you know, put the flag up and it's still there the next day sometimes. So I know he didn't come at all. I think they're just so short-handed. If they take a day off, nobody, like, substitutes for them. So they just let the stuff sit there until the next day or whenever they come back. And I called, I have this um, subscription to a massage place. It's called Massage Lux. They're probably all over the country, I'm sure. And I did that like a, long, a couple years ago before COVID. But then COVID hit and you couldn't really go. They closed down and then you had to wear a mask. And I'm like, what fun is wearing a mask when you're getting a massage? And so I put my account on, I froze it. So they weren't charging me every month. Well, I, I went a couple months ago, so they unfroze my account. Well, now they're so shorthanded, they're booked up for like the next two months straight. So you can't even get an appointment. And I'm like, that's crazy because now I have like all of these massages on my account that I've paid for, but I can't even get in there. So I was going to go. I tried to make an appointment yesterday for today or tomorrow or the next couple days. But they were booked till January, and I said, holy cow, that's crazy. So, I don't know. I really, I have this guy who I really like there who does the massages. He's, like, amazing. And I always, like, feel so much better when I go because my back hurts. Because we have these most uncomfortable chairs at work that are awful. All right, we're almost done. Getting to the end here. Okay, I cut a bunch of these in half to put on this little word piece. So we'll just put a couple of the little half ones on there. But I'm telling you what, when I get a massage, it is like the best part of my day. Because it is so relaxing. When I went to Thailand a few years ago, I, I won the, well, I didn't win it. I always say that I won the Stampin' Up! trip. I earned, I earned that because I worked hard for it, but... Um, the Stampin' Up! trip was to Thailand a few years ago. And in Thailand, they have massages that are Thai, like Thai massages, I guess is the, that's what they call them. But they're totally like nothing you've ever experienced in the United States. I'm telling you what, they get on the table with you. And it is a woman usually that does it. And they were doing them like for $10 on the beach right outside of our hotel. And we were staying at this really, really nice resort. But... These women were all down there. It was like 20 of them. And everybody was going down there like all day long getting massages. But they get like on the table on top of you and stretch your whole body out. So they kind of do like, um, it's almost like yoga. They're doing like yoga for you. So you don't have to do the stretches. They're kind of stretching your body. And they're stretching your legs like all the way above your head. And I'm telling you what though, that was a really good massage too. But I don't think they do them here. I've never found a place that does them here. All right, we're just going to put the words right about there. And then do the ribbon, the pearls, and Wink Stella. And I'll, I'll try to look at the comments while I'm doing this. Let me see. Oh, no mail some days. A girl after my own heart loved QVC. I have had to stop watching QVC because... I was really spending a lot of money on stuff and it was kind of like I would buy it and then I'd get it and I'm thinking why did I buy this it looked so good on TV and you like have to have it and then you get it and you're thinking why did I buy this I don't really need this thing 
So I had to stop watching QVC because it was addictive. Except I did buy something the other day because I still get the emails from them. And they have these apples around this time of the year called Miss Prendable's apples. And they are the best apples. They're like caramel and different coatings on them. So I bought a set of those and they just came yesterday. So I had one today. So the one I had today was caramel with dark chocolate and cashews on the outside. And it was so good. They're a little pricey, but I mean, you get a bit, they're pretty big apples. And you can eat like one apple. I'll eat like four, probably four to four times. You know, you get like a quarter of it each time because it's a lot. They're pretty big. So they come out, I think it came out to like, I don't know, five or six dollars per apple. All right. Woo, getting close. <laughs> we're way over time. <laughs> you guys still here with me? <laughs> All right. Bows next. So we're going to do those with the glue dots. So luckily I made these ahead of time or we never would have finished tonight. We'd be on here till tomorrow morning. No. <laughs> these bows aren't that hard. All right. So I'm just putting the bow right at the bottom of the piece Joy Love. And I just tied these together. So this is one of my favorite ribbons of all time that I like to do is the linen thread and the white seam binding together at the same time. I think it just makes such a pretty bow. It's beautiful, beautiful. Whoops. And I wish I could read your comments, but now I'm just trying to get done. Although I'm sure you guys have nothing better to do tonight, right? Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I was just going to stamp tonight anyway, so I'm going to stamp with you guys and have audience watch me. So you guys can get entertained at the same time. And hopefully you like these enough to copy them. And really they are easy cards. It's a very easy card. Because you don't have hardly any stamping. It's just basically cutting and gluing together and sponging and I only messed up one time which is good all right let's see if I can read some sad situation for the postal service I love using them and hope they do not disappear I know they're so shorthanded I feel really bad for them but they're overworking them so bad because they gave them the contract for Amazon so they don't even get a day off they have to work on Sundays too so I see the the post office, uh, the mail lady, uh, coming on Saturday. I mean Saturday, Sunday, delivering the Amazons. And they said I talked to one of them, and they said if they finish their route at like eight o'clock and get back, and there's all these Amazon packages that have to go out, they have to turn around and go back and take them all um, out before they can go home. So they're working like you know 14 hours a day. So I don't blame them all for quitting. Because I would quit too if somebody was working me to death like that. It's really sad. But I don't know. They're going bankrupt, so I don't know what's going to happen if if the postal service goes bankrupt. All right, we're done, except for pearls. Now we got my favorite blue pearls, which are really silver, but um, they say they're they say they're silver, but I think they're blue. Oops, we're having too much goo coming out. Let's squeeze it just up a little bit get some coming out all right whoops I got a twofer okay so we're gonna put the pearls all over wherever you want got one on my finger um, I think I did like five on each one just wherever there was a good spot let's put one over here so there's one whoops lost it Now I'm really taking too much time. <laughs> these pearls just, you have to have these pearls because they're so pretty. So two. I love this little fox that's on this paper. It's so cute. Whoops. My goo is getting crooked. Put one there. So I always get excited when I get a fox on my paper. Because I think he's so cute. And you guys know, I think the other stamp that we have, the one with the, um, 
uh, the deer and the bunny and the fox. I thought for the longest time that was a wolf and not a fox until somebody um, corrected me. So this one you can really tell that's a fox, but the other one I think it really does look like a wolf. I'm running out of spaces for pearls. Love these cards, Debbie said. I do too. I think this is pretty. This is the one I was going to do the 10 cards in 20 minutes. <laughs> that really would have been a good one because it's not even close to 20 minutes. It's more like 40 minutes. But we did this in class and everybody loved it. So I'm like, okay, I think I'll just do that one too. Because it is, it's an easy, really easy card. It just is a little time consuming. So I'm going to have to change the name of the video now because we're at uh, 40 minutes now. <laughs> And I'm almost at 6,000 um, subscribers on YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, I'm running out of space here. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And also, don't forget to like, share, um, all that good stuff. And leave comments because, you know, if you leave a comment, you can win the card. And... I think I'm getting to the point where almost, uh, well, a lot of my subscribers and who comment all the time have already won. Sometimes people have won two or three times, so I'm trying to pick new people sometimes, but it seems like I forget who already won. I should write it down because I don't, and then I'm like, I can't remember if they just won one or not because I try not to repeat too many times. Whoops. I guess we're stuck with that one because the glue is there. All right, a couple more to go, and then we're going to do some glitter with the Wink of Stella. Everybody was laughing at me the other day because that the one person was on here that says, what's Wink of Stella? And I almost fell out of my chair laughing. And I thought, I can't believe somebody asked me that. <laughs> but she had never watched my videos before, and I guess she doesn't watch Stampin' Up! videos, but uh, I just thought that was so hysterical. Because I'm like, if you watch my videos, you know what Wink of Stella is. It's the best thing ever. I think Wink of Stella and the blending brushes are probably my favorite things of all time. That we have. Well, that, you know what else? The bedazzled paper. And guess what? In this new spring mini, there's some dazzling paper. I don't think it's um, the, the same color. I think it's pink. But um, we get some in, anyway. And it's beautiful. All right, time to do some winking. Ready? Let me get another thing. Let me use this. All right, we're going to put some glitter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we're done. Oh, don't forget, our sale starts on Tuesday. So today, um, I won't be doing a video. Well, it'll be early Tuesday because i got to work Tuesday night. But um, the sale starts Tuesday. And only last Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And it is cardstock, 10% um, off. Ink pads, 15% off. And dies are 20% off. And also, there's the joining um, special with the starter kit. So if you do that on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you can put some of the sale items in your kit and you'll get the sale price on those too so you can get even more bang for your buck one of my friends michelle i don't think she's on here tonight um sylvia says i don't mind hanging with you i think you are doing great on time oh good thank you carla says beautiful cards sharon says love these cards deborah says shimmer spray was my fave oh my gosh shimmer spray was my fave too but this is almost as good but um what was i just saying i forgot now Oh, my friend Michelle, she was joking me because she was watching my video the other night and she had it on and her husband could hear it. And then at the end of the video, I was talking about the sale. And then I said, but wait, there's more like the Ginsu commercial. And she said her husband just like started dying laughing. And he's like, this girl's hysterical because you can get double um, bargain if you get the starter kit and the sale stuff. So I have got glitter all over my fingers. All right, we're done. Woo! I'm sweating now. <laughs> all 
All right, so now we've got all these beautiful cards, 10 of them, in, uh, that was 45 minutes, okay. So we're just say 40 minutes because I stopped a couple times to read comments. So there you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Let me see if I missed any comments. Um, Audrey says, I'm in Providence. The weather was nuts. Three tornado warnings at once. Holy cow. Angie says, you are worth every minute, Lisa. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so sweet. I'm sending you some hugs. Debbie says, oh, wait a minute. Love these cards. Deborah says, lovely cards. Marsha, I'm happily watching while my husband cooks dinner. Man, that's a nice, nice guy. Carla says, no mail, no bills. All my bills are online, so everything's auto pay, so I don't even get bills in the mail. So, because, you know, that was the problem. I was getting um, bills in the mail that were way past due because they were coming like a month late. So I just did all, I do all mine online now. All right, I think I got most of the comments. You didn't get any in your last order. What? I think because you were in class, so you got the cards from class. That's why. Because um, if you come to class and place an order, you're getting the class for free. So that's that's probably why. But if I didn't send you anything and it was a different class, I will send you some. And Diane says, all these steps make this very pretty card. All right. There's a... I think I got everything. Oh, laughter is contagious. You're always entertaining. All right, I think I got all the comments, unless I missed them at the bottom. Love it, love it, love it. Lots of love it. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me with date night for date night with Lisa. We almost were here an hour. That went by fast. That was a really fast hour. But I hope you loved these cards, and thank you guys so much for sticking with me for an hour. That's my longest video ever, I think. I don't think I've ever gone an hour. All right, so I'll be back Tuesday, and don't forget the sale starts Tuesday, so um, you can start ordering Tuesday morning, whatever you want, and um, if your order's over $50, I will send you some cards and gifts in the mail. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll be back Tuesday. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.